This game is called Tight Spaces Tag for grades 2 to 8, and you're going to need flags like for flag football, or you can use pieces of cloth if you don't have them. And thanks to Derek Hafer for yet another game idea. So in this game, you're going to use the lines in the gym. They could look something like that. Maybe your lines look more like this. Um, obviously, everyone's lines look different, so it doesn't really matter, but you're going to use some lines. And you're going to need to start, though, with a large area. So uh, maybe that's your volleyball court or your basketball court. And this could also be done outside using cones. And all players are going to start within the boundary area, and you're going to give each player a flag that they're going to tuck in or put into their pocket, but make sure that it's out enough that it can be taken, because it's a, a flag-stealing type game. And the idea is that you're going to try and be the last one left, so the players are going to be the last one standing, and uh, on the go signal they're going to run around and try and, steal, try and steal a flag. If your flag gets stolen, then you're out, so what happens, the flag got stolen there, and uh, that player whose flag got stolen has to go to the outside boundary lines and they're waiting there. They're, they're not actually out out. I'll explain in a second what happened. So meanwhile, someone else is getting chased and they ran out of bounds. So if the player runs out of bounds as well, then they're out and uh, so they stay there. Now the players that are on the side can steal flags or swipe flags of players who go near them. So if in the, if during the, the play somebody goes near them and uh, they can swipe the flag, then that player is also out and they then they join the out players along the side. And meanwhile, of course you imagine everyone's running around at the same time, but uh, this player got their flag stolen, so they're also out. Once enough players are out and along the outside boundaries, you're going to shrink the playing area. So yell out, shrink the area. And this is where the lines in your gym make a difference, because depending what your lines are, you're going to shrink to whatever area you have. Usually a center line is a nice one to use if you have it, so then all the remaining players go into that area, and you uh, get rid of the, the one half or whatever area. And then the players who are out along the side will then just make their way to a different sideline. And the game continues on. We can just imagine that players were eliminated, or they got their flag stolen, or they went out of bounds. So now we're down to just a few players. You're going to shrink the playing area again. And so we see here's a line in our gym. And uh, so the last players, the last few will go into that area. And depending on your numbers, depending on your size, you can shrink it a bunch of times or just a few times. Obviously, we have the last three here. And the players would go to there, make it a little a tight area to to for the last three players as they're running around. Oh, that player's got the flag stolen. And here, same thing. So there's one left. Yay, they win. Congratulations. And then uh, play a new round. So that's it for this idea. Thanks again, Derek, for yet another awesome idea. If you've enjoyed this game, please subscribe for more games and visit physedgames.com.